Hello, everyone. I am uh, Prussian Prince uh, uh, with a special little stream today. We have the Spring Cup 22, all of the Samurai uh, version specifically. And it's going to be a final between Clayton of AEG and Chaos Blade. Best of seven. Uh, currently in game one, we have uh, Clayton as the attacker as he's top of the bracket. Now, joining me here today, we have a guest as well. Uh, it's uh, Face the Music. Hello. Hello, Welcome. everyone. So, uh, Music also has a YouTube channel, I believe. He started uh, recently uh, based on all the samurai content uh, so far, uh, tournaments from what I saw. Uh, do check out uh, the link to his channel in the description if uh, you'd like uh, it's uh, and also we have the brackets link there as well if you want to see the brackets of course that doesn't um, contain the entire tournament because we just have the playoff stage there there's also group stages if there were four groups so uh, there were more players involved here so uh, let's begin with a short well I'm not going to look at the brackets because I don't want to spoil the result because technically this final has already been played but uh, and we'll be doing it um, over a um, yeah, we'll by do. a replays. Yeah, something happened and I thought like some something went down, but no, it's all good. You can still hear me, right? Yeah, everything's everything's yeah, great. good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go over the builds then. Um, I, uh, we should first uh, just go over who defeated who in the playoffs. So first, oh, yeah. um, Clayton's path was, uh, well, he 4-0'd Lil Mao and he 4-1'd running there to get to the finals. So whereas for Chaos Blade, um, he apparently had to go through Skull of Lions and Tigers. And took out Vitalik uh, in a 4-1 fashion to get to the finals. So uh, definitely they both showed their dominance uh, in the scene. We'll see how uh, this match uh, unfolds. But both players are really, really quite excellent. Both Clayton and Chaos Blade. And they have long history in this uh, game. All right. So uh, I'm going to head over to the game now. And we shall go over the builds. I'll go ahead and start with latents, but I am going to unpause in three, two, one, unpause. So for Clayton, we do have uh, looks like a revolver cap, some Yari key on the field as well. I don't think I see all the Yari keys. Uh, yeah, two Yari key, a saber cap. He's general. He's got like stand and fight, so it looks like command uh, general. <laughs> Can we just stop um, for a second? Because this is gonna kick off real quick. Okay, uh, okay, let's pause. Let's, 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 let's pause, pause for the for the for the yeah, build. Yeah, yeah, I, I forgot. It's it's fall of the samurai, so like things are really quick here. <clears> but <throat> if you if you cast another total war game, like you can just keep going on normal speed, and it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. There's uh... okay. So for Clayton's build again, we have the I already went over the cab department. Looks like he has a uh, command. Uh, General, not command gun. Looks like it's full command here. Uh, then we also have uh, some white tiger force units. I believe I see two of those. Then some red bears. So, of course, nothing too out of the ordinary. I think that's like two or three red bears. I think that's four red bears. I mean, yeah, four red bears is like pretty standard as well. Uh, just the best bear unit in the game. Um, I would argue, then I believe that's two Black Tortoise Force and the Royal Marines here. Uh, 150 range, of course. Uh, rank 5, was so that's basically the ideal rank you want on them. And we also have a Spear Levy, which uh, I forgot about. And last but not least, level 5 Armstrong guns, which is uh, quite interesting because uh, back when I played, they weren't that common anymore actually so uh, things have uh, definitely changed since um, I last uh, played basically yeah, so, yeah. I mean yeah, they, they were not common uh, at all our 
Armstrong guns. All right, so um, now that we went over Clayton's build, can you go over uh, Chaos Blade? Yeah, definitely. So Chaos Blade is, uh, uh, he has two red bears on either flank, so four in total. And in the middle, he has uh, a force of a uh, uh, US Marine supported by two black tortoises. And he's got a uh, spear levy. Um, uh, going for the workshop and the archery dojo. So, uh, it's easy to take these uh, buildings with spear levy because you can just extend the line of spear levy to them so I uh, won't take uh, uh, too many casualties and uh, it's not a valuable unit so good for that. And he's got a calf force. Um, he's got two Yuri keys on either side, I think four in total. One saber calf on the left um, and the one does he have another saber cap? No, I think it just wants no one one going to the right as well with a revolver cap. So he's uh, going very wide. And uh, yeah, to that to just that point uh, about the cannons. Um, yeah, I don't. I still don't think they're very common. It just Clayton started using them recently, and uh, uh, he's been very successful with them. <laughs> in oh, fact, okay. yeah, his his well, uh, defending is pretty good. Yeah, well, they, they are they are really good at dealing with marines or something like pretty cost effective at shooting those. But if you're facing an army that's like really cheap with tons of regular bears and stuff, like it's not gonna be as good. Yeah, but yeah, definitely against the marines, the marines will hurt a lot here. But uh, looks like revolver cabs being targeted. If I look at the yeah, what the Armstrong guns shot at, and by the way, I'm still not unpaused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can yeah. start playing now, I think. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Right. No, what would be nice is uh well if there was a timer, but I can't see it, so I'm not entirely sure how synced up we are, but this will be interesting. Okay, so it looks like Clayton is moving up on his left with uh where he has the revolver cap. Interesting fact actually is in this tournament there is one max one revolver cap. Used to be two, but now it's uh one in this tournament. And here we have the Armstrong guns. Looks like they're shooting at the Saber Cav, but didn't actually manage to do much to them. So looks like engagement might start in the center. Nope. I think uh, yeah, uh, there's an imbalance on the on the Clayton's left. He's using the Royal Marines to make something happen there, which is interesting because uh, um, he's detaching a very valuable unit uh, far away from the rest of his army. So we'll see how that uh, that will pan out for him. Um, yeah. They're going for the archery dojo, which is the best dojo on this map right now. And uh, but it's more cost effective for Chaos because he's taking it with the spear level. He's moving. Yeah, and uh, looks like the the other flank is just given up by Clayton. Um, Sword Dojo is uh, going towards Chaos Blade because, you know, Clayton, as you pointed out, uh, sent his Royal Marines on the left. And now there's a big uh, bombardment onto that Red Bear, also hitting some of the uh, Spear Levy. We also see Suppression Fire pop, so that might actually route the Spear Levy, but we will see. So some uh, decent engagements here for uh, Clayton. If he can get that Archie Dojo, that would be really, really good for him. I mean, he's given up both of the other dojos right now just to uh, get a nice position on the archery dojo yeah chaos is trying to position his cavalry he doesn't know where to use it yet it seems but uh, yeah he's gonna have to make something happen that's the effect of cannons the psychological effect of it is to pressure your opponent uh, but just to cause casualties yeah, and uh, the Armstrong guns have 24 kills so far. Clayton has been unable to take the archery dojo, but uh, sooner rather than later he will be able to. His Royal Marines have 65 kills. They need to be getting some more value right now, I'd say, um, because they're not really participating in a lot of fights. There's an engagement happening in the center, but that might go Clayton's way since he's actually in the forest with most of his units uh, with both of his uh, bears there and it's also one of them is uh, 
The ones uh, oh. on the Clayton on Chaos Blades side is a black tortoise, so that's not gonna do as well. But interestingly enough, the black tortoise and the red bear aren't doing too terribly against that one unit because it's two against one. And I... on the other side with the archery dojo, that's pure levy is still there, not routed. Just pretty I, annoying. I just want to point out this was very smart by Chaos. So he he knew he had a stronger force on his left, and he moved all his calf to the right. So. Clayton did the same, and uh, his uh, Clayton's right was undefended, and now Chaos could move him with all his cav to support uh, his infantry superiority in the center and his left. So this is very, very. Uh, this was a very powerful move by Chaos, it seems. Yeah, yeah, and it's really good because his cavalry didn't end up being shot up that much by the enemy line units, so the timing was. Pretty good on his end. Uh, looks like Clayton did get a nice saber cap charge into the red bears of chaos on uh, chaos's left flank. So uh, Clayton is also responding with some nice cavalry play here. But again, those are red bears, so they're actually yeah. munching up the saber cap pretty well at this point. Yeah. Now, now uh, chaos is going for the real marines, which Clayton left undefended. And uh, he's also introducing the revolver cap. Clay Clay Clayton's uh, cavalry is not in a position to defend this uh, this attack. So that's just pretty good. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure why Chaos sent his uh, revolver cap up towards the black tortoise. When he could have yeah. gone for Clayton's revolver cap at this point, I think, with his own, and that probably would have uh, been far more effective than killing off a black tortoise. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But it's going well enough for him. I mean, right now he's going for the general with his revolver cap, which is going to be pretty juicy as well. He can Definitely. get it. Yeah. Does he no longer have ammo on the revolver cap, or is it just... Uh, I can't uh, tell. They might not. They have uh, almost 200 kills at this point. Yeah, they have a lot, <laughs> so... You know, the balance of power is still surprisingly even, and there it goes. It's no longer yeah. even. <laughs> I was it's waiting just... for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like surprisingly even and then one second later oh no yeah no longer even so it looks like chaos is going to end up taking uh the first game here so um yep the armstrong gun of uh clayton only 31 kills in uh, this battle so definitely didn't pay for oh, yeah. this here definitely not i th yeah i think it's it's very important to aim your armstrong guns as well because they they usually just fire at the side of the unit, and aiming an Armstrong oh, yeah. gun, uh, an Armstrong battery while you're microing your entire army is very difficult. Yeah. And um, definitely not for this map. I, I would I would say, like sometimes it's good to get your opponent to attack, but when attacking is better than defending, like on half yeah. or ridge, uh, it's not true. an advantage. Right, so it's just the Armstrong guns <laughs> left here. Yeah, this is a very exciting part of the game. Yeah. Yeah, they they tend to be pretty durable the, when they're behind the uh, the models, the, the cannon models. Sir. I've. Uh, yeah, really... yeah. They tank a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's pretty surprising. Yeah. Especially or when you're limber. Enemy more. victory. Yeah, yeah. So um. Go. Yeah. I'm gonna move into the score screen and take a look at the. Uh, how units uh, did in this battle. I think, uh, yeah, I'm mostly curious about like the key units, so Royal Marines, uh, Revolver Cav, and uh, those sort of units. Yes. See how they did. Because I, I don't really care if like a Black Tortoise Force got zero kills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Black, Black Tortoise is actually a very, very good unit. It's uh... yeah. It's great. Need to protect it from cavalry, and then it can beat red bears any like any day. If they get the first volley, they will beat a red bear. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay, so US Marines, two hundred eight kills. Revolver cap, two hundred kills. So yeah, for the most, yeah, those kills were pretty decent too. I think. I mean, they did kill some black tortoise, but yeah. Um, let's see. I, I think the main thing here was that. Uh, Chaos has managed to get 112 kills with one vanilla Yariki and 83 with another, 74 with a Saber Cav. Ooh, that's, yeah. That suggests that Clayton didn't manage to check these charges, didn't manage yeah. to block them, and uh, that cost him all his infantry. Um, 
really surprised by the white tiger force. I normally don't <laughs> see this unit at all. Probably he didn't. He had to spend his money on something. It's like, damn, I hate that I have to take a white tiger force, but I have no other choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. In my opinion, like even if even if I have five hundred left, I would never go for a white tiger force. <laughs> you take a spear levy. <laughs> yeah, spear levy is a million times better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it, it actually got 67 kills on Chaos Blade's side, the Spear Levy. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. insane. I'm very yeah. That's insane. He, that was just supposed to be a meat shot. Well, they're re very good. Very good to like uh, stop units from yeah. firing as well. Yeah. So cheap. He got one with zero kills, but that was the one on the Archery Dojo, I guess. One yeah. That, and which was, it did its job because it didn't let Clayton have the archery dojo for so long. Yeah, yeah, which would have helped him defend all this if he had it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah pretty was, good game. Was... Oh, well. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's game one. Uh, to go in to uh, Mister Chaos play. Oh boy, I think this uh, scoreboard's gonna be quite something. <laughs> yeah, prof professional stream, everyone here. So, <laughs> all right, there we go. It's edited. Both in in uh, <laughs> in suits as well. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna jump into game uh, game two, and I'll, I'll wait for you. Okay. Sure. Just pause it. I'm gonna jump into it as well. But I will not show everyone the amount of games. <laughs> So, yeah. it's hidden mountains, right? Like I loaded the correct map, I would assume. Yeah. Well, I mean, the amount of games is if you always show seven for a best of seven, even yeah, when there's like case, less, yeah. then you can hide it that way. But... Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, hidden mountains picked by Chaos. Yeah, since uh, Clayton picked the first map, and by the way, the person who picks the map is um, is the attacker, which is fairly normal. It's standard. Okay, so uh, I'm loaded in. I am also paused. So let me start going over the builds uh, here, or well over one build. Not yeah, both, pick one. Pick course. one. <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go with Clayton again, cause uh, why not? So yeah. let's see. Um, for Clayton, we have uh, first of all, I'll start with the cavalry department. Saber cav on the left, another one on the right. So two saber cav total. We have one yariki on the right, and it looks like one on the left. So two yariki and the revolver cav, and then we have the demon six 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 satana killer general <laughs> <laughs> command general. Yes, there you go. Armstrong guns again, but this time uh, they're vanilla, so it was like, hmm. He was probably like, well, you know, they, the last ones, they were rank 5. I spent a lot of money on them, so let's just bring vanilla ones this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was his thought process. In terms of uh, his lines, we have three black tortoise on the right, three red bears sort of on the left, center left-ish. Then we do have a U.S. Marine, a Spear Levy, and another Red Bear along with... Uh, I think that's that's it for uh, Clayton, actually. No other units. So what do we have for Chaos Blade? For Chaos, this is a very, very cool build. First thing is that he didn't pick any Revolver Cav, it seems. And uh, he didn't pick any 150s, it seems. He has uh, two Red Bears on the left flank. Uh, supported by two Yarikis. In the center, he has a force of uh, Black Tortoise, Azure Dragon, and Red Bear, and uh, Spear Levy, supported by two Saber Cav units, which is very strong. And uh, on the right, he has um, two Yariki, one Saber Cav, and uh, Red Bear and a Shogun Guard infantry, uh, going for the shrine. But uh, he seems to be going for all, all, like every single dojo. And um, yeah, he seems to be going wide again, especially like if you don't have 150s, going wide is pretty good. Yeah, one so. second, sorry. No problem. 
and he has um he's got the full gun general with gambat there which is uh, usually the optimal uh, general build yeah sorry about that i, I check on something um no, no problem okay well uh, I assume you had enough time to go over the build. Yeah, I just finished. talked about okay. the general. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. Play. Okay, so three, two, two one, one, starting. Okay, so uh, Clayton is not moving his infantry yet. Okay, I, I, one other thing is Chaos starts, I noticed in this replay that Chaos started by moving his entire army at once. Clayton yeah. is uh, moving units by units. And I also prefer the way Chaos does it, so he moved everything at once. There's yeah. like a special key you use that to move forward and then like then you press the run command just yeah. to move your entire army at the same time. So I think that's like slight advantage that uh, Chaos uh, gets from doing that because he's able to get everywhere faster, slightly faster than Clayton. Definitely. Well, what we can see is that Chaos is is uh, way stronger on his left, and in the center, uh, in the center, he has a very strong force with the general, who can and he can press Gamba to any time he wants, that will crush like whatever Clayton has there. But Clayton is going full, uh, with full force for the shrine, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Uh, we have some shots fired in the center. Clayton got the first volley onto the Red Bears and Sabercab, actually. So that was a very good volley from Clayton. He also had some Armstrong guns shooting at... I'm not quite sure what. But yeah, Clayton's going to end up losing his Red Bear there, even though initially it was a good trade. Right now he's like two against one. So he's going to end up losing that, especially as the Azure is forest. Some Armstrong gun support is helping though, but again, it's shooting the flank of uh, the red bear, so... But that's still not going to be enough. Ooh, uh, the bombardment coming down doesn't really hit anything though. Yeah, on the on the, on the Chaos's right and Clayton's left, the fight is, is has started in earnest, and uh, yeah, the, like, Chaos is trying to get a position around the shrine, and he's throwing as many cavalry units at, at Clayton as... as uh, as uh, he possibly can. He only has two infantry units. Oh, trying to take revolver. it. Revolver against revolver here. This is a huge, important battle. Looks like Chaos oh, is wait, he does the have revolver engagement. Yeah. yeah. Which is hidden, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. Both revolvers are sort of going to cancel each other out here. Which, yeah. Uh, it's uh, interesting. But uh, looks like Clayton's here, left flank is doing extremely well here, especially with. A stand and fight is. Uh, Helping his uh, units out a little bit there. Uh, he still has Yariki that he could actually send out into that Shogunate Guard infantry. Center and right is yeah, it's not going collapsing so well for completely. Yeah. And I think that's that's what that was really smart by Chaos. He, even though it was his weak flank, he decided to contest the shrine just to not give Clayton any morale, so that he can crush his center and and uh, and right. So it seems like it was a better trade. Uh, for uh, for chaos to go for the center and right, and let uh, I mean for chaos then uh, to let um, then to go for go for his right to go for the shrine because it seems to, uh, yeah he caused way more damage in those attacks. Okay. And, uh, once again, the the side with Armstrong guns loses, and they had the <laughs> oh, thirty six <yeah>. kill, <laughs> kills here. It's just. Why I don't like Armstrong guns in FOTS is that the games tend to be pretty fast, as you're able to see with these two games. So they yeah. don't have the time to get their damage in normally. And they also rely on the opponent generally having high value uh, units available for you to shoot at. And there wasn't like any Marine or super high value unit on Gas Blade's side. I mean, he did have Shogunate Guard infantry, but they're not as expensive. Still, so like yeah. it's difficult to make the Armstrong guns work. Um, it's it also depends on the map. So yeah, on some maps it's easier, but I don't think this map 
specifically is a map where like they're uh, that great. I mean, it it has to be on a map where um, you have some nice terrain to help you defensively. I, I think. Yeah, with good choke points, you can defend with a few yeah. units, but not this map. This map, especially like even then, like there's too many forests that would block the shells from actually hitting the units. So it's it there's not much point in going for Armstrong guns here, but. Um, he did it anyway, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. If you're gonna go for Armstrong guns, <clears throat> get a lot of good infantry to defend it. If you're gonna go for it in a wide map like this, because uh, yeah. Clayton, like right, right off the start, like Clayton, Clayton's center and right was just so weak. I mean, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was gonna lose, and he didn't defend it at all. Yeah. So, I mean, I think he sort of was way too out there on, like, he should, he didn't play, I mean, you have to play so much more defensively with the Armstrong guns, I think, and he didn't play enough in a defensive manner, so, because he could just get attacked like that. So, I felt like, well, I didn't, wasn't able to see the right flank that much, but I feel like he could have rotated more his, uh, right flank probably and yeah definitely saved but, saved some more time but uh, he put black tortoises on his right flank so it wouldn't have mattered much but uh, oh, yeah, that, yeah that's true that was also really weird because usually like i you have the red bears on the flanks and the black tortoise in the center yeah normal my normal deployment used to be like that as well so i was a bit intrigued by that i saw the deployment yeah, yeah, I, I think it might still would have worked if he put a red bear on that flank and he didn't go for the US Marines because he used them in a place where he didn't need 150 range. Like he, he had the he had 3v2 infantry advantage and uh, and uh, all he had to do is just kill Chaos's cab there, which would uh, not be very difficult. But like if, if he if he like if he didn't use such an expensive unit, he could have spent it on something else. Because it was yeah. gonna get, <clears throat> it was gonna get um, smothered by cap anyway. This is actually a map where you could go without <coughs> using any 150s. You could play a 150 less army on this map. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, 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 I would consider it. Yeah. You have a lot of cavalry. Be pretty good. I, I used to play like that, like mass lines and cavalry, just cheap lines and cavalry. Maybe like some something for morale. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's 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 a really good way to go. Like, in my opinion, lines are always better than cavalry, and cavalry should yeah. always support the lines. Yeah. So, even if like lines get uh, wrecked a little bit, they come back and they survive and in the end that they will be the damage dealers not the cab um oh my god <laughs> saying that though in this case 200 kills on yariki what that's all black tortoise <laughs> oh okay. yeah yeah because if it was red bears he wouldn't have had that many kills he would have died yeah yes <laughs> so yeah that's uh so quite a lot i'm curious what the u.s marines do not much because again you pointed out the they were not used in a place where they uh, they could have been effective in because of the forest, of the hilly-ish terrain, so it wasn't the best place for them. Um, other than that, any units? Well, Clayton apparently has lots of good kills on his red bears, but again, Armstrong guns, not enough time to pay for themselves. Uh, and uh yeah not quite sure if i should point out any other units here yeah no, not much to go on there but um yeah i think Holy uh, cow. What? what is that azure that was in <laughs> the center as well oh that, that, was, that was one in the forest that was yeah. one in the forest yeah gambata just made it yeah. turned it into a beast unit and just killed <laughs> everything <laughs> yeah that yeah it's it can be a beast if it's in the forest and it doesn't and can't get shot at, yeah. Yeah. And it's boosted, so 
even a black tortoise would do great from there. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, I uh, I played played a game against uh, Vitalik where I killed his uh, killed his like upgraded uh, Shogunate Guard infantry uh, with black tortoise because I use Gambata. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> nice. So yeah, it's definitely possible. To, anything's possible with Gambata, it seems. Yeah. Um, that's very true. good, very good ability. I think I think it's the I think it's the best way to go. To be honest, uh, it can have its drawbacks because your overall army might have less morale as opposed to if you go for like a, a gun command split or like a command full command general. Um, but uh, it just it just gives your general yeah. uh, gun button like extra range and stuff. Yes. All right, so let's see how's uh how's the stream going, everyone? Like, can you hear us fine? <laughs> can you see the stream fine? Hopefully, everything should be running fine. I'm like rewinding it through now, uh, and on my second screen, and it looks okay. To me, yeah, the quality is fine. I'm not sure about the audio because if I mean, if I turn on the audio now, I haven't set it up so that it's filtered uh, from the stream if I were to listen to something. So I don't want to do that now. That would be weird. Okay. Um, so I'm going to end up loading the second, or actually not the second, the third uh, replay. Let's see. This one's going to be on waterfalls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is a uh, peculiar map, for sure. Yeah. It's a cannon map, definitely. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, this is like cannon and cannons and uh, full command gen are actually pretty good here. Yes. Waiting for it to load. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm in. I'm paused. Probably like one second in or something. Okay, I'll I'll get there too. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm there. Okay, so yeah. All right, let me switch the scene. There we go. All right, so we're in uh, game number three here. Chaos Blade against Clayton, or is it Clayton against Chaos Blade? Technically, it's get Clayton against Chaos Blade. Yeah. So now it's again Clayton attacking, I believe, and picking the map. And he decided to go with Waterfalls. So here we go. Uh... <laughs> uh, all right. So in chat, we have uh... Kurt Tank, Andrew, and uh... that. Oh, nice. Just triggered by the cap, don't kill comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh and Andrew, yeah, thanks uh thanks a lot for watching my whole Hoy Four streams. What do you mean? Uh yeah, that's that's true. Cav Cav can definitely kill, but depends. Yeah, but you need to get some yeah, if you get some rear charges off, it's a different story because you can route stuff, but they can if you go in frontally, too. it's yeah, if you go in frontally, it's like quite risky. And, and also, very, very risky. also, if if you have a cab, like even if it doesn't get shot, let's say, it gets. It doesn't matter how many upgrades it has. If if it's in a if it's stuck in a red bear, when it gets charged, it will die. So, that's uh that's also a thing. So yeah, a lot of people play with um, out like a uh, huge cab forces trying to outflank and stuff, and uh, that definitely works. But um. There's a lot of players who show, like including Chaos Blade and Clayton, how to counter it, and uh, yeah, with just the lines and stuff, and Black Fury, I would say. But yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's start going over the builds because we're getting sidetracked a little bit here. <laughs> yeah. um, although you know, it's actually the the commentary, the pre-battle setup, and talking about the builds and stuff usually. Takes a lot more time than the actual battle, so yeah, um, but that's fine. Let's go over. Uh, I'm gonna go over Clayton's build. We have the command general as before. 
caviar key, saber key, uh, saber key, saber cav on the right. Uh, that would be interesting. More saber cav on the left. So two in total again. We have the revolver cap again, max one revolver cap. So uh, in normal cases, you're going to take one revolver cap anyway. So I don't think it's, it's I think everyone is going to have a revolver cap. I don't think there's any builds without that one revolver cap or probably not really worth yeah. making any builds without it. Um, okay, so we have some Royal Marines here. We have a mix of red bears and white bears and some black tortoise. Interesting. There's a, definitely a healthy mix of different types of infantry, but I don't see any. Yeah, okay. We have like basically all the stuff except no azure which is fine you know the black tortoise are great however they're on one of them is on the left flank interestingly not the red bear oh clayton has a oh, okay i thought that was a 150 black bear but it's like what okay it's actually <laughs> rank four with suppression fire i actually missed that one. Oh, cool so that's a cool unit. yeah yeah that's and accuracy upgrades so yeah, that's that's mm. definitely interesting oh yeah <laughs> We've gone for reload, but yeah, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, that probably has a reason for it, but um, yeah. So, um, depending on the, I believe it's the reload animation or whatever it's or the type of gun used, it um, there's like a max speed of uh, reload, uh, minimum, minimum reload time, I guess you could put it on a unit, but I don't think I don't think 45 plus suppression fire hit gets you there though. No, so, I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe he thought that uh, maybe he made it for a gun battle general, so he could boost it anyway. Mm. Just uh, an idea. Yeah. Weird unit. I would have yeah. preferred, like, in this case, like, rank 1 with suppression fire, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, people use that as well, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so I think that's Oh wait, Clayton has an Armstrong gun, vanilla again, which I forgot to go over. But actually, um, this is the map where you might see the Armstrong gun do something. So yeah, you can yeah. go over um, Chaos Blades uh, Army if you'd like. Yeah, it won't take long. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> United States Marines and uh, just a whole swarm of black tortoises with one red bear to covered the uh, farmhouse in the middle and this is what people do on on waterfalls they just uh, shove as many cheap units through the middle as possible <laughs> so that so that you can freely contest the shrine and uh, or whatever it's usually the most important uh, building usually the shrine yeah. I, I think it's almost always the shrine is a uh, is on top so uh, usually it's best to go for the top part of the map and it's also advantageous terrain wise so yeah, moving in a lot of units that basically counteracts the Armstrong guns and any any other like firing units, and uh, you know you can use them to shoot expensive units while you charge cav and stuff. So, it's, uh, but it's also like yeah, it's just good to contest. Stuff with. Okay. And what I would like to point out about Clayton's disposition is that you would think that Black Tortoise is a uh, is a uh, very vulnerable on the side, but I think in this case it actually makes sense because um people always go for the top and it's so important to go for the top that almost everyone forgets the these side dojos and they do grant some additional bonuses not that not too much but some additional bonuses and you, it lets you outflank as well so um i think he thought that when the battle would start and he would see that chaos's cav is elsewhere he, he could move it in, in there and then just cap the workshop but yeah, Kios yeah. has mostly hidden his cab. And one more point was weird to me about this game is that they have their cannons not at the front, but right at the back. So they're not going for a cannon war. But even if like, and uh, I, I do believe that since Clayton has full command gen and I know Chaos uses uh, the, um, the spying retainer that lets it, so they can both see each other's deployment. So I'm not sure why uh, Chaos, especially since he has uh, rank uh, six, actually rank six uh, Armstrong guns, the uh, extract. See, I don't know why he's uh, 
not moving them forward if he wants to get some good kills with it. But we'll see. Anyway, that that was it. Okay. You can start okay. playing. Um, one thing I don't understand is like, what's the point of a power gun over the Armstrong guns? I I don't oh, wait, think is it, is I've ever seen gun? it. In... Oh, it's huh? power gun. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it in competitive play. Like maybe I'm misremembering, but I don't think I've ever seen it before. I've seen Armstrong guns enough times for sure, but power I, guns, no. <laughs> I I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's any difference in the trage trajectory of the of the projectile. Uh, you know, like I don't I don't think it flies any different. I think it just it just have it just has nerf stats, and if you upgrade it, maybe it's more cost effective. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe, but that would have been found out long ago. But who knows? <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, it's, I don't know. It's it's, it's chaos. Uh, yeah. Chaos has some interesting interesting build, but yeah. All know. right. So three, two, one. Let us begin at the double. All right. So Clayton's already doing uh, actually a smart thing, moving up onto the hill on his right with the red bear and the black bear. He wants to come in from there and probably surround Chaos Blade or uh, get another angle of attack onto the shrine. So that could be pretty good on him. Uh, did I just hear bombardment or something? I, don't, I heard something for sure. Uh, Pirate guns shooting at white bears, armed yeah. guns shooting at marines. Way better target. They also have really good. Uh, um, this is the angle they they want to be shooting at the marines from. Like right in front is uh, the most, uh, the best uh, angle for the Armstrong guns, rather than shooting from like a weird angle. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. The Clayton's calf force and uh, and units on the left, they're clearly outbalancing like uh, whatever chaos has there. So that's interesting. Yeah, I. I don't think he needs that much there. Like he, uh, Clayton can actually just, I, he sh he should pull out his cap as he does now. He yeah. he can hold that side just with line infantry. There's no way Chaos can take that efficiently with what he has there. So, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Pulling back his cap there is a smart play. Uh, however, the Marines, I don't know what Clayton's armor strong guns are not shooting at the Marines. They're shooting at the Red Bears. And they're definitely in range, I believe. So yeah, look, they're in range. They're not shooting the U.S. Marines, so I don't understand yeah, why they're not me, shooting. Yeah, me either. Absolutely not. I don't know why. That's, um, the, that's a huge mistake because that unit could have taken a lot of damage. Yeah. But that angle is 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 like very hard to defend. That like Clayton has on the shrine now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, line line of sight yeah, and. And uh, yeah, there's no, you kind of make a wide line. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I. Oh, so Clayton has the farmhouse. He definitely has the workshop. There's no way Yes Blade can take that one. And the shrine is contested. Looks like it might go Chaos Blade's. Uh, well, it depends on what Clayton does here on his right, but if he doesn't do anything, obviously. Chaos Blade is going to take it, but because he's doing something, Chaos Blade might not take it. Oh, Clayton's sending in his Saber Cab now. Potentially a little bit early, because they might get shot at by the line behind, but it could also work out in its favor since that line isn't stopped. Oh, we did stop. But does it have line of sight? And it's a, it, it's a Black Tortoise, and uh, so it will mm -hmm. take a lot of damage, and it cannot fire at the White Bear, so the White Bear is alive and well. And yeah. Yeah, like uh, Clayton definitely has the advantage now, so Chaos is moving all his calf to try to steal it back. Um, so the revolver cab is getting shot at here by a Black Tortoise Force and Armstrong. No, Armstrong guns are now finally targeting the US Marines. Clayton's attack on the right is looking very good. Yeah, his Yariki is also kind of beating uh, Chaos Blade's Yariki. Ooh, some big charges in the middle coming in from Chaos right now, and they got in without getting shot at much. But here comes the revolver cab. Yeah. <laughs> so much damage. Yeah. And uh, this is just very desperate to like move in the revolver cab after that because it's 
it can be countered by AR key as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is this is a huge huge win for Clayton, and he's actually looping around and attacking Chaos in general. <laughs> Yeah, that was his. Uh, that was the Yari key he had, which took out Chaos's Yari key, and then just went on uh, further ahead. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, looking very good for Clayton right now. Um, the only thing that could lose him the game would be that U.S. Marine that's finally getting targeted by the Armstrong gun. That was a, that was a weird thing this game. Uh, Clayton was just targeting other stuff, with the U.S. Marine, the Armstrong gun. But you know. It, U.S. Marine still only got 44 kills, so... So... Desperate attack by Chaos with the Revolver Cav into the Red Bears to route them off, but they end up dying, so... That's going to be a win for Clayton here, who's gonna put a point on the scoreboard for himself, so it's starting to get interesting in this best of seven. Now it'll be two to one, still in favor of Chaos, but, uh... Win here for, uh... Clayton definitely uh, could allow him to make a comeback here. Yeah. Looking at the pirate guns, they have 78 kills, Armstrong guns 160. So, yeah. Yeah. I it's, think, yeah. like, the problem also was that it was too far back. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. he could have gotten more kills. It wasn't so far so, back. So keep in mind, it's like rank six paired guns compared to like vanilla Armstrong guns. So yeah. it's like, I'm not even sure what's the price difference at that point. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do think it, I, probably Armstrong guns are better than, but <clears throat> but a lot of that, you know, those kills was uh, were black tortoises. But yeah, I think it's yeah. probably not worth it <laughs> overall. No, no. And you know the Armstrong guns did did have enough time to start paying for themselves. And actually, it's not even just about paying for themselves because even if they don't do that, like just by hitting some units, they make them less effective. They have to reform, and then your other units can trade better against them. So yeah. you can't just look at like, oh, they killed X amount of models. So did they pay for themselves? No, because you have to look at like what they did to influence the engagement where they were actually used as well so it can be a lot more value gained in that way yeah i agree yeah i mean this is i mean 177 maybe it's black tortoise but it's it's uh, an armstrong on paying for itself and also yeah it, i think that's enough for armstrong guns <laughs> <laughs> they did their job yeah, even the parrots did something. Yeah, this this is it makes sense that both players went for cannons here because this is the map. Other than you know, like hit the mountains, I don't like them there. Uh, and the other map also like Upper Ridge. What was the first one? Yeah. Yeah. That was no uh, way. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, there's maybe there's some funky deployment you can do on on that. I think, but still wouldn't work. <laughs> I <think>. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, well, 2-1 for uh, Chaos now, and, uh, oh, that actually took almost six minutes. Well, yeah, because it's waterfalls, so it's not like hit a mountains and it takes like three minutes. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have the score, update, updated, there we go. Updated. Sorry, everyone, for you know, like short uh, notice and less than professional stream setup. But it is what it is. At least the uh, you know the video quality is fine, and hopefully you can hear us both well. So it's uh, important, and hopefully the games uh, are too. Uh, know are enjoyable for you all and i think they're pretty good so far i do like uh games I'm sure <laughs> twitchy says in chat uh what's tournament what year is this yeah uh, uh it's uh so it's such uh you know all this nostalgia hitting me while uh casting these games pretty nice okay uh 
So game three, so we go to game four now. Yes. Skawabi River. Ooh, yeah, I like this map. I yeah. played. There's uh, some quite some funny stuff you can do on around that dojo in the middle. Oh, like what? Like what line do you of mean? Sight. There's some weird line of sight around that dojo in the middle. It has like um two uh like uh, how do you say it? like it it has like two like bits like two um yeah areas of elevation there. It's almost like it yes. has like two. Walls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're loaded in. Uh, I'm gonna switch to game. Now that we're here, um, we're gonna go over the builds. So we have Kawabi River game four. Currently two to one for uh, Chaos Blade, and I believe this is Chaos Blade's pick. So um, he decided to go with uh, Kawabi River, and he's gonna be attacking. But uh, I'm gonna go over Clayton's uh, build as is tradition. So let's see what we have for Clayton. We have the good old command gen, which he's using. We have the one revolver cab, which is totally expect. We have four Yariki. Okay, four Yariki. I haven't seen those, uh, you know, four Yariki in any of these games so far on one side at least, I think, uh, which is. Uh, well, now there's a change because four Yariki used to be staple in every game. Um, okay, we have some spear levy. That's two of them. Have a US Marine. Have two red bears. At least. Have two red bears. Yeah. Black tortoise. And then on the far right, we have a black tortoise with a red bear. And we do have the Armstrong guns. Let's not forget about them uh, this time. I think that's I think that's it for Clayton actually. So what does Chaos Blade have? Uh, it's very interesting. He has two rank one black tortoises, the extra reload, which is interesting. Like it, yeah, makes sense. Um, he has two red bears on the left flank, and on his right, he's going for, uh, with uh, Royal Marines and one red bear, and uh, in the middle. He has a force of uh, two black tortoises and one red bear, and those two black tortoises have one upgrade of uh, one upgrade, uh, one reload upgrade, and he has um, half force of uh, two, three one layer keys, and um, one of them was upgraded. Let me see this. Yeah, was it? No, actually, it's four one layer keys. Okay. And one revolver cav, and uh, full gun gen with gambata, and uh, two saber cav on his left. So it seems that he's uh, mostly going for the hill. Although I, I'm not sure if he doesn't seem like he is going for the farmhouse. So yeah, we'll see. And yeah, that's that's chaos right. build. Okay, so three, two, one. On pausing. Now I do, I do really like the rank one black tortoises. Actually, I have some of those myself. Better list. They, they are pretty cost effective. Like just one reload, because uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah. You don't really have anything good in that price range. You, the next thing is like Azure Dragon Force, which yeah. costs a bit more. Um, okay. So uh, Armstrong gun firing away. Looks like it's getting some shots off at the Yariki. Not the greatest volley, only kills. Um, they should be targeting that marine in the center though. They, yeah, switch to targets. That marine is actually in a sort of a blocky formation. It's not like fully really spread out, so it might take more damage. For sure. From yeah. those Armstrongs. Uh, well, it gets hit, but obviously that missed. But now like it's it's gonna get into a position where it's not gonna hit hit as much by the Armstrong guns. Hmm, it's interesting. So Chaos is also going for, or the left. It seems with the, with the two red bears. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on right now. I, I, he's clearly trying to put his um, British uh, Marines on the on the hill, but he's also attacking in the center. So it, 
interesting. He can definitely beat Clayton Center because he has the upgraded uh, Black Tortoises and he can pop Gambata as well and Saber Cav. So it's going for the center right now. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Cavalry. Cavalry is coming in for Chaos Blade. We'll see if they get in uh, untouched or not. Revolver Cav from Clayton. Really nice response. Sending the Revolver Cav here to deal with the Saber Cav. It's very good. Also, Yariki, you're going to hit the Black Tortoise without any issues at all. Damn, so nice charge from cowards. Yariki. I think running, this sir. is really hard to tell what's going on. Yeah, yeah, but I <laughs> think it's, it's super chaotic. It's too yeah. late because, yeah, but it couldn't block the Saber Cav. So these units are, are all bugged out and they're going to route. And Chaos has also managed to route the Black Tortoise on Clayton's, uh, Clayton's right. Yeah. So yeah, now just the Cav is just streaming in. Yeah, they, they're free to get into the Armstrong guns. So I didn't see that Cav behind, but yeah, with that Cav, it's just game over for Clayton. And again, the Armstrong guns have time to do uh, their job. So I guess like, yeah, he replied with Cavalry. Uh, Clayton, but it was a little bit too late uh, to save the day in the center because he did get charged. Yeah, those those lines are oh. still solid in the middle. The sir. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to oppose them now. And now the... Actually... Yeah, what? This is actually pretty one-sided. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I yeah, actually, yeah, it is. Hmm. It, it just, it just saber cav. Like, I don't know, um, how it used to be, but uh, Saber Cap these days is, is uh, I would say it's, it's entered meta territory, where um, Saber Cap paired with infantry is just is just too much to deal with. Like if you cannot block it, if you can block Saber Cap, then your opponent has the opportunity to trade Saber Cap for Yariki because in this example they will be fighting between two infantry units. But if you cannot block it, then he can kill your infantry unit, <laughs> and then uh, and then you're left with one Yariki. So like, if you have one Yariki supporting an infantry, it's not always better than one Saber Cav. Sometimes Saber Cav is just more cost effective. Um. Hmm. Yeah. It, like the one thing about Saber Cav is that they are slower, Yariki. So that yeah. can definitely influence things. But, you know, uh, yeah, they weren't used as much in the previous meta, like when the game was at its peak. But um, they were still used, for sure, especially in cav-heavy builds. Like, you're not going to bring Shogunate Guard Cavalry or other cav units, so you have Saber Cav. So, yeah, just... There were definitely builds with, like, 8 cav, like, just 4 Yariki, I don't know, 2 Saber Cav and 2 Revolver Cav. That was pretty standard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would say I would say it's also because, um, well, yeah, four Yariki on an open map, I would say is is uh, still standard. But uh, yeah, so like if you want to get an extra cavalry unit, saber cav is pretty good. But on a lot of maps, I sometimes you can just substitute a Yariki with a saber cav and it's mm. fine. Uh, uh, it's actually it works fine. But yeah, look at that. Saber Cap got 142 kills and 105 kills. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it... yeah, all the the cap did well, and yeah, that that makes sense because you know they they definitely punched through uh, Clayton's army there. Got into the guns, yeah, guns, 48 kills here. They didn't have time to do anything, so <laughs> yeah. just went too fast. Four minutes game. Yeah. Okay, so now it's actually going to be uh, four, not four, <laughs> three, <laughs> four one would be for, over. Uh, Clayton, yeah, four would be over. Like, we're done, we're done, everyone. Yeah, see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not yet, not yet. I have updates. Four, three, not four. Let's see. So now we're gonna go back, load the new replay. Uh, really nice to see old faces in chat. Like, 
not I mean just watching Fox replays is uh, already hits me pretty hard on a nostalgia level but just seeing all these old faces that I used to talk to and play with like many 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 years ago uh, pretty great as well okay so game five it's on Gunma Field oh yeah this is also a map I remember yeah it's flat it, yeah it's yes. pretty good for competitive play yeah I paused. Okay, yeah, uh, let's see. Well, let's you can you can go over Clayton's build. If you want to? All right. Yeah. So for Clayton, we have who? Okay. Well, we already see one major change. <laughs> Even full gun general. <laughs> this yes. Time and everything. So yeah. Now he wants. Uh, his own gun but eh. all right well it, it, it definitely makes sense uh so yeah especially now this map uh it's gonna work out quite well i think uh for him but let's see uh cavalry wise we have two yariki one saber cab on the left then we have two uh, one yariki one saber cab on the right for rest of his forces let's see I'm going to start with the in for, uh, interesting units first. So we have a Royal Marine on the left. Then we also have 175 range. Those are rifles. Very, very, very interesting unit. Um, see how they are used here. Then we have some red bears, some white bears as well. I think he has three red bears probably. But he has two or three. Yeah, I think it's three. And like sprinkled in some black tortoise and uh, white bears. Oh yeah, black tortoise on the right again. Three of them. Huh, not even one red bear on that flank. Interesting. Okay, well, that's uh, the build of Clayton, actually. Uh, I really like it. I'm curious how that Tosa Rifleman will uh, pan out for him. Okay. Um, well, Chaos also has 175 Tosa Rifleman. <laughs> I, think, I think that's that's uh, probably standard on this map because there isn't any line of side blockers like in like on the Kanto planes, for example. Um, he has uh, two red bears on his left flank. In the middle, he has a force of uh, two rank one black tortoises and um, a rank two red bear. Uh, they all have uh, reload upgrades. And uh, on his left, he has two Yariki. On his right, he has one revolver cab and obviously has a lot more hidden in the forest. Um, but yeah, I, that's that's pretty much it. Um, replays are for Clayton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So three, two, one, go. It's interesting that uh, you know both players are using those rifles because, from my point of view. Um, Given optimal play, like the player with the Tosa rifle unit should generally lose, because you can you should play around it, you approach from different angles, surround it, and then eventually it's not going to get enough time to play for itself. Sort of like an Armstrong gun, because uh, I feel that the Tosa rifle unit is a unit that like preys on the opponent making mistakes, because then it's when it actually starts uh, to uh, get value. Yeah, it preys on like indecision. Yeah, but what's good about them is that here, for example, you cannot click on them because they can hide in the forest and just shoot. So oh, I yeah. think I think they're pretty good here. I mean, yeah, uh, you might be able to play around it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, it's, sometimes yeah. it's not not easy, but <laughs> oh, but it's yeah, definitely not easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, of course, you should always go uh, go attack as soon as possible. But uh, uh, getting a volley from these guys is pretty bad. This is already the you know 
mistake. Chaos plane moving up with Marines on that side where the Tosa rifleman is. He should yeah, not yeah. go in there. That's, he's outranged. That's, yeah. And he saw them. He saw them. So, yeah. But I, yeah, that, that's a huge mistake. Could cost yeah. them the game. We'll see. Uh, his Tosas are doing fine in the middle, though, taking out the white bears. Yeah. Yoki going in against the white bear, but he gets shot too much. It doesn't have infantry support, so it just dies. Uh, Saber cap coming in to hit the US Marines. Yeah. It's gonna be a huge charge. Definitely. And oh, when Yoriki caught the revolver cap in the flank, and then it's also getting shot. What? Still gets into the toes. <laughs> but there's a, a few of them, so it won't be able to do that much. Yeah. Mystery. But, uh, saber cap is into that red bear, but oh, it's it's a red bear unit. Also. Looks like chaos. Uh, yeah, he's he's lost the center, so uh, the archery dojo. I mean, it's still in Clayton's uh, hands. Stosa is still alive, and it's trading quite well against that. Uh, it's gonna be finish off the previous marine for sure. In the center we see chaos blade Stosa just getting finished off because I guess the Yariki gave it vision. Uh, on the Tosa, and now the Royal Marines will finish off the Tosas of Chaos Blade. Uh, the balance of power is pretty even, but slowly going to Clayton's uh, favor. Yeah, I think it was like the engagement in the center that was that went pretty badly for, for Chaos. He lost like the revolver cab and the Yariki for nothing, it seemed. But it, it's interesting how he, I mean, he almost won the ride. <clears throat> right is pretty close, and seemed a bit uh, it seemed unbalanced in favor of clayton but yeah the unit it's, survived it's... yeah the uh that Tosa was uh was being very pesky so hit the marine pretty well yeah but, uh, eventually the marine was able to get some range and uh yeah what else is going on here red bear is being shot in the flank by another red bear so that gone and uh, soon the game is over but Clayton is uh, yeah he's pulling back it's right Me. flank a little too much a little yeah. too scared because he could be getting flanking shots yeah Onto that one red bear now so, definitely but it doesn't really matter uh, see that yeah uh, Chaos did pull the plug. Well, he didn't pull the plug. You can see the defeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have this replay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way of saying it, I guess. Yeah, I would say that uh, Clayton actually made nicer lines in the middle as well. Just made like one big line as opposed to separate ones. But yeah, that's a hard game to analyze. I don't know why. If yeah. I don't know why Chaos like he if he kited the middle harder, maybe he could have won. Don't think it started he... great in the center for him because he got some value with those as they weren't getting shot at, and then the cab got into them and then they got shot at. They got they had vision on them. I mean, uh, Clayton had vision on them. Yeah, I guess. But what's surprising to me is that if you're gonna go for a range advantage, why do you wanna also charge go in with your Yari key and your revolver cab as well and in the same place? Yeah. If if those two units were on his on any of those flanks, it would have wrecked those flanks, and then yeah, yeah. would have been better. Yeah, I mean, if you have a range advantage somewhere, as you said, you just need to use it, and don't because if you if you're already getting value like that, like you don't necessarily want to keep trying something else there because it might fail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so don't don't make it more complicated. <laughs> if if it's working, leave it be. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Well, because oh, uh, also actually got the most kills. Hmm. Yeah. From Clayton. That's that interesting. Was, uh, but they they didn't get shot. They were able to shoot those marines, so they they were all value kills. Sure. Yeah. They did great. Um. Yeah. 
yeah, that's uh, that's going to be game game five now. So it's it's three to two in favor of Chaos Blade, but this is a close series. A close series at this point. Let me update the scoreboard again. But we have a maximum of two games left, though. We're nearing the end now. Let's have a look at update the score. Two. Yeah, it's a best of seven. Oh, chat says that. I just learned last week that Total War Arena died. Because that was such a great game. Um, yeah, it was, but it's actually like for for Total War games in multiplayer, it's in my top two after Shogun Two, but. Um, it could have hit that number one spot for sure. Um, I'm really sad that it failed because uh, it had a lot of potential, I think, but just didn't work out. I'm not entirely sure. Like, it's hard to say why it failed, but from my perspective, um, the quality of the game started dropping at some point and development wasn't heading in the right direction. And, my opinion but you know it's, it's hard to say because i'm not like a data analyst or whatever so yeah but yeah i went off on a different uh, tangent there so said on over back to shogun 2 okay counter planes yeah classic map as well So who picked this map actually? <laughs> it was uh, a okay, Chaos Blade, it. right? It's three two. This means it's game six, right? So hmm. yeah. So Clayton picked first. He picked Hat uh, Hapo. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Hapo. this is Chaos's pick. Open map. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, this is Chaos's. Uh, map like his best map um this is uh where he does his uh signature saber cab attack in the middle uh oh, okay. supported by um the marines usually has the us or royal marines yeah wait no 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 uh, so chaos picked no clayton picked in the first game right like, I yeah yeah got... well this is an even oh, yeah, this is sense. six so yeah yes yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I forgot who picked it in the first <laughs> game. So, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm in here. Um, I'm paused as well, by the way. And uh, I'm going to go over Clayton's build as is tradition again. <laughs> Clayton's got a um, good old uh, gun gen. Gun is. Ooh, we see the. Armstrong guns again here. Uh, see two Yariki on the left. What are cab horses? Saber cab in the center. Yariki on the right. And then our saber cab. So that's three Yariki, two saber cab. Infantry wise, we have two red bears on the left. Uh, looks like probably. Am I good? Yeah, two red bears on the right. So that's the standard deployment. Uh, in my opinion as well. So I like how he deployed his uh, red bears. Shogunate Guard Infantry, an Azure Dragon Force, and a Black Tortoise. And the US Marine. Let's not forget about that one. All right, so what does Chaos have? So he has two red bears on either flank, and uh, he has two Yorikis on the right flank, Yoriki and a um, Saber Cab on his left flank, and he's got two saber cav in the middle, um, and a force of uh, one royal marine, uh, one other dragon, and uh, one black tortoise. So yeah, and the uh, and the general is gonna support them maybe with gambata. We'll see. Yeah, that's his uh, that's his build. He's going for all sides. It seems. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, unpause. All right. 
So, yep, two dojos on this map, uh, archery dojo and sword dojo. Well, if you will see more, uh, you know, archery dojo should theoretically be contested more, especially with these builds because they have vines. Uh, they can really benefit from the archery dojo. It's not like some crazy melee rush or something that uh, you don't see too often. Clayton is. Clayton is Gambata on the Armstrong one, so they fire faster to get more value to start. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Well, <laughs> they fire faster, but they already missed. <laughs> yes. Have one more reason <laughs> to fire faster. <laughs> You're constantly missing. Yeah. Uh, they could get some shots up onto the revolvers now, actually. If they get those. For Chaos is general. I don't know what it's doing oh, yeah, over there. <laughs> Miss Micro. <laughs> Also, pretty good target. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Clayton's moving up. US Marines. Yeah, Clayton's left flank is so powerful. That left should have no problems uh, allowing him to get the archery dojo in this case. So I think uh, Chaos is in some trouble. Oh, Clayton being smart on his right as well. Look, he's, he's retreating on his right. No, okay, I have a disadvantage here. I just need to hold him off while I push on the left. So it's very smart. Yeah. Chaos is, is trying to again attack uh, the center and the left with this huge amount of cav. The Saber cav are already ready in the middle to get a charge off while he's firing it at the at Clayton's center. So Clayton is doing the right thing and is pulling back. Making like trying to like make Chaos run more Honestly, this is this is just beautiful and perfect from Clayton. Like I don't think he could have done anything else better by this point. So he's playing it perfectly. Unless he gets charged without getting a volley of that red there. Yeah. <laughs> that could be one of the worst mistake. And he pulls back even further, which is again very smart. So he doesn't want uh, to get shot and charge that. And I think like Chaos's cap might need to run a bit too much. And they won't be in the range of their infantry. And and he got mm. and he got side charges on all these cap units. Yeah. Oh, nice charge from Chaos. He got a rear charge onto that red there on the, on his left flank. Yeah. But I don't know what's happening in the middle. His Yarik is going in and didn't get shot at. Cut straight into the US Marines. Yeah. That was a good charge from Chaos, actually. But eventually, that DREP will end up losing in melee, but it did do quite a lot still. Yeah. Mm. Damn, yeah but these revolvers are up and doing damage running, onto sir. that Shogun Garden. This is a <laughs> super chaotic game. And, uh, yeah. Very fast, very fast. But I think, like, this time. He used the revolver cav better because uh, he actually managed to tie down all of Clayton's cav before he sent them in. That's the best time to send in your revolver cav once no cav can catch them. But Chaos's revolvers are going down here. It's pretty important. Yeah, but they did already do quite a bit. So <laughs> oh, yeah, I think he could have saved them. I don't think they should have went down, but maybe. Okay. I'm not sure how much ammo they had left. Uh, Chaos makes a yeah. mistake on the right, getting his Azure shot at by that US Marine. Probably wasn't able to see it. Uh, now this is going to be very important. Clayton has to somehow keep his Armstrong gun alive here. Uh, and Chaos is pushing up his Royal Marines. Uh, oh, that shot didn't go very well at all. I'm really curious how Clayton's gonna try and defend this because there's this onslaught of lines coming from Chaos pushing in. Yeah. Like when the dust settles and you have more lines, it's it's very hard to counter that. It, it seems yeah. his Armstrong guys are gonna get shot. That's painful. I mean yeah, they they're tanky because of those hogs, but not that tanky. Yeah. Clayton's pushing in now though, so he gets shots on that Royal Marine, it's huge. But yeah, yeah, this is this is uh, what Chaos does and what good players do is he he saw that uh, 
uh, Clayton was going for the Royal Marines with the US Marines and he flanked it with another unit while he was pulling back and now he's going back with the, with the Royal Marines to finish up the US Marines. This was a perfectly done engagement by Chaos. Yeah, 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 so the trick is you pull back your Royal Marine and then if it's targeted, the enemy unit moves forward and as that happens, you send in another unit on the flank. It's, it's exposed at that point. That's what happened. Okay, Clayton gets in Saber Cab, but it's like 20 models in like pretty healthy Royal Marines. So not gonna do much there. Clayton's gonna get a good engagement on on the archery dojo side, but that's a free red there. Yeah, I don't know. See, if, if you're gonna chase the Yoriki, maybe it's best sometimes, but uh, you should pull back the red bed earlier. But uh, yeah, because he's got he's got he's got a red bear chasing that Yoriki on his uh, far right, and it's away from the the rest of the units. Yeah, it's... he's never gonna catch that Yoriki. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's much point in chasing it. Well, uh, like... By the time it gets back, the engagement might be over. <laughs> that that the red bear actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so status check with units. Let's see. That Royal Marine of Chaos is still alive. Much better shape than late in Chaos. It's fine. Yeah. He's gonna get some. They oh. Kill one model. Almost, Ooh, almost killed it. <laughs> and yeah, the general. Wow. Yeah. But the gun butted general is there. Oh, got another ball with one kill. Oh, but now he gets pushed by this, this red bear. Let's see how he reacts oh. with the marine. Oh no! Oh no! It's too late. Yeah. That was that was That's not good. Pain. That's pain. I guess he's gonna get this other red bear shot potentially. Oh, oh that was. Yeah, he should just pull back. But like now, Clayton is looping around with that caveat. That red bear yeah. is still away. Yeah. Okay. At least it's gonna get the sword dojo. But in this case, like. Mm makes some sense but I would say firepower is more important because yeah, yeah. just a regular red bear would kill that Yoriki. Clayton's taking an engagement there with one red bear on the left but that yeah, chaos has to now turn around and face that Yoriki. So it's yeah. gonna be annoying for him. It's gonna uh, go around. Damn, he should just be kiting away at this point. Ma making a stand sometimes is good, but it's not the optimal right. way to use this room. He's not even using his range advantage here with his vines. Yeah. I feel like he just hurried it up because he thought he won at this point. Yeah, I would I would think. Yeah, I, I think so too. And he had more lines, but... Um... He had more lines and he had the 150. The marine, yeah. which was in much better shape than the marine of Clayton. So he could have dragged it out or just yeah. taken his time. Yeah, definitely. And then I don't see how he could have the lost it. He, he, he was like, yeah, okay, I basically won at this point. Which happens to a lot of people. I don't know if it happened. This is why it's up like that. But it's a plausible uh, reason. Yeah, I think it's also because uh, sometimes you just feel you feel you feel pressure to stay in a fight because you're afraid that like it will take three years for your units to form up again. So if you run away, if if the Armstrong gun was still in play, yeah, you could he, that that would be a reason like just keep pushing. But it wasn't even that like it's not like he would get shot at by something over time other than played the general but he also has his own gun general so yeah and he also has the marine so yeah, yeah he he should have realized he should have uh i think it was hard to change mindset for him because he was going all out attack the whole game and oh, uh yeah. he should have changed the defensive mindset at the end routing, sir. yeah but you know this means we're gonna go on to a game seven so. <laughs> yeah that's good for the viewership. Definitely. Some exciting stuff. Well, yeah, this, this is 
still really close, but you know, at this point it's over. Yeah. It's two lines plus a gen. It's a nice volley by Chaos, but yeah, I mean, even Gambata, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah there you go. nice game. Well played by Creighton. That sure. that was a uh, that was textbook Kai thing from him. Oh yeah, the, the start was just beautiful. But yeah. uh, you know he he didn't turn around in time, so <laughs> he actually got rear charged by the cow without getting any shots up. Yeah. Before that, which was kind of a bit weird. It, it, if he turned around his infantry and then got a shot off, the game would have been over back already. Uh, okay. Wow, Clayton's red bears. US Marines and gun uh, gen. Yeah, well, this game took 10 minutes, so it makes sense that the Marines and the general got the value. It takes time for them. Armstrong on 72. Well, I mean, they got taken out at some point, so <laughs> they couldn't have yeah. defense. I think it also comes down to luck as well, like how well you aim them, how good, you know, yeah. those shots were. Okay, so for Chaos we play here, we can carry Walters from Rings. And it's, I feel like most of these games, Clayton picking the Armstrong guns lost him the game. Yeah, so. the, I, I would say so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, imagine if he didn't pick Armstrong guns in the first uh, few games. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, something to think about. What would the score have been had he not picked any artillery? So in these yeah. games, yeah, yeah, definitely. But but, we'll but but he, here here, I mean. I think it's it's even it's even cooler that he won with artillery, like it's an extra handicap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe Chaos had to go in though, because uh, I think here the art the psychological impact of the artillery was that uh, Chaos couldn't just yeah. lock down all the dojos; he had to go for uh, Clayton. So maybe maybe that extra pressure helped uh, unravel Chaos's uh, attack. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's it, sometimes it's just uh, mind games that like sometimes the Armstrong guns are just uh, there for psychological psychological effect. It's um, not always the if it puts you on a timer, you're pressured to to, to go in. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chaos should have just. Uh, I mean, I think if he just went back with his cab once more and then he attacked again, would have probably gone better because Clayton couldn't have kited much further back than his Armstrong guns. Yeah, well, he won with the Armstrong guns, so... Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. <laughs> yeah, especially but... in a map like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Over in, so... Gonna go over the again? Well, one build, not builds. Okay, well, got for Clayton gun gen, gun gen. We have, okay, cab wise, looks like Saber Cab, Yariki on the left, same contingent in the center, and then same contingent on the right. Oh, that's really interesting. Three pairs of Yariki plus Saber Cab. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, then we have, looks like, two black tortoises and then four red bears. Is that? Yeah, I think that's four oh, red bears. Please. We also have unit of realm marines. Is that it? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a very interesting unit again. The parent gun. Parent, but this time, I think last time was a chaos blade that used it on waterfalls. So it was chaos blade, I think. But now we have Clayton with vanilla parent gun. So maybe, maybe there is something about this. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Um. Yeah, now it's uh, back over to you. Yeah, so Chaos has um, a Red Bear and a US Marine on his left and a Spear Levy. So he's going to uh, take the Sword Dojo with the Spear Levy and take position with the Marine. And the Red Bear is going to push probably with the two Yariki. 
if, uh, if, if need be. And then on the other side, he has a Red Bear, Spear Levy again, and uh, Saber Cav. And middle, he has once again like Black Tortoises and a Red Bear. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, he has a Revolver Cav on the left and a Saber Cav in the middle. And he might have some more Cav units hidden. Uh, he usually does. Like last game, I counted one less Yariki because of that. Um, yeah. And speaking of cannons, this is the last map I would pick cannons on. Uh, this is absolutely terrible for. I, I don't know. It just because the you're incentivized to go for the center, and whoever takes the center, in my experience, usually wins the game because from the center you can just push in any direction and. I think cannons are sometimes good if you don't want to take the dojos, but you need a lot of width here as well, because if you're going to also fight for the center and fight for the sides, you need a lot of units. So uh, yeah. that's just my opinion, my experience. Yeah. Sure. yeah. All right. Well, right, let's three, go. two, one, go. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, chaos starting up. Again, you can see the difference. Chaos moves up the entire army, and uh, Platon starts moving in a couple of units at a time. So, definitely Chaos with some slightly better mechanics in this case. Yeah, moving in your entire army at once is better than selecting a few units, moving them, and so on and so forth. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh... Sword Dojo versus Farmhouse. Definitely like nothing crazy like Brian and Archery Dojo here, but still nonetheless nice to have uh, both of them actually. Um, so again, Chaos Blade, as you said, gonna push up the Sword Dojo to, uh, I mean, take it with a Spear Levy and Marines behind will offer support and uh, should be pretty good to, uh, for him this flank here. These, uh, this marine, Red Bear in the forest should be just fine. I don't think he'll allow Clayton to get that sword dojo. Uh, I, he might not get it himself, but uh, we'll see. You know, Clayton has his own Royal Marine here. Might be a standstill. And and the ridge, the ridge is is in control of Chaos Blade, so like he can move on, move like five units onto the ridge, and shoot from it. Uh, whereas like Clayton is doesn't have much to defend it. I mean, I mean he only has like one black tortoise in position to fire at the ridge. Yeah, um, I do like that interesting position of three units from Clayton on the left. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Yeah, Those it's three hidden units. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean it's for a counter attack. Clearly, he wants to yeah, shoot yeah, from the yeah. side and then get some side charges of or rear charges against Cav, but uh, Chaos is just gonna like outflank him here. Yeah. He's not having any of that. <laughs> no. Spear Levy up first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that Black Tortoise will kill the Spear Levy. I think the Spear Levy will get stuck in and just damage all of them if he's not careful. <laughs> Spear Levy is an awesome unit. And actually he's using a line of sight trick I think. Oh no, they're actually shooting back at each other, so it's pretty good on the right. Okay, so Chaos is flanking with the Spear Lobby. Um, yeah, but as you can see, like, now... Like... He just has so much more room to maneuver. Now yeah. that he has the ridge. The enemy What's the Armstrong gun doing? Like, it feels like shooting the Spear then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's definitely not shooting the US3. So, so yeah, like uh, infantry wise, it's a one v one, and then Chaos has more cav and an extra spear levy. And now that Clayton is moving extra units to help his left, now Chaos can move him middle to all the cav and the infantry, and it will just crush the middle. I mean, there is nothing to defend that. Like he has the looks great. The chaos on the right. Sir. Sorry. Yeah, definitely. Just got great engagements there with his cavalry, just wiped out. So yeah, Clayton with the surprise attack, 
that didn't go <laughs> going so well for for him. He was unable to surprise uh, yes big charge in the center from from chaos. So um, yeah, we'll see how this works out. For him. Well, as you'd expect, he's gonna move him with his cav, and then just shoot every unit that the cav pins down. And he also yeah, has some leftover cav and units. So. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty. Him attacking the center after he won the right like that, it's pretty risky because I mean you just won, so just wait for the other units. Right? It's working anyway, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, but but I mean, it's pretty decisive. I think uh, yeah. some sometimes it's good to good to let your opponent have a win as well because then he gets stuck and with micro and also with, in terms of <laughs> position. So if you want if you want to gain time, sometimes it's good, but it it doesn't matter anyway. I mean, no. he had more infantry there, so of course he's gonna win. Even if Clayton has more cap there, more infantry will survive and then we'll just win in the end. All the cap versus red bears plus black yeah. yeah. I mean, at this point, this is the point where, like, you don't know where to use your revolver cap because the battle's already over. Yes. <laughs> so you just oh. shoot at a red bear. Oh, you, 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 you can shoot red bear marines in general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to wait, actually, actually, they if they survive, they're doing what you said. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, they're just charging them. Well. Yeah, they have no. A unit animal. is running from the battlefield, sir. Huh? Oh, looks like it's gonna be a win for uh, for Chaos. Yeah. And he's gonna be the champion. He's the champion of Spring of uh, 2022. Congratulations to him. Congratulations, Chaos. Uh, I guess he's won a lot of stuff by now. <laughs> I haven't yeah, exactly yeah. seen. Yeah. Won the vanilla one the as well. Yeah. yeah. He's a. He's, I think he's Damn, currently the best player. Um. Ready, in the game. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think sir, Black Fury comes close, but injury, and but I guess win. Clayton. Yeah. yeah like. I thought like Clayton would be second best. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> you just I just accepted it. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, I can. Like, players can surprise each other. Like, um, I think uh, one of the tournaments, Black Fury followed Clayton, and uh, for the third place game, and Black Fury usually doesn't use two revolver calves. Clayton used to revolver caps for all those games. Oh wow! So, that's, yeah, that's really interesting. The fact yeah, that he could do that. All right, final stats, of game seven. Wow. Final stats. Uh, revolver cap, hundred eighty-three kills. Yeah. After the battle was won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after the battle was won. <laughs> wow! Look at that black torches. <laughs> yeah. An amazing unit. Yeah, it's even the vanilla vanilla one. It's not even the rank one, uh, which yeah. is quite the unit. <laughs> okay, very keys. Yeah, the cavalry. Just, just the overwhelm. You know how he over overwhelmed the Clayton's left there was. That's what won him the game, basically. Yeah. The, that was the move, just crushing Clayton's flank there, which was supposed to be <laughs> Clayton. Um, you know, just pulling out the moves there, his three units, and being like, "Hey, I have some units here. And now I'm hitting your flank, I'm winning this flank." Yeah. Didn't work out for him. I mean, so. if you want to surprise uh, someone, uh, maybe not don't surprise them with a black tortoise. It's not that scary. <laughs> uh. <laughs> here, here's a black tortoise. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got you now. Yeah, because if it was a marine, then, you know. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, if you put the marine there, he would have lost the dojo. I yeah, guess. no. No, I so... think it, you put red bears there and I think oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, try to defend the middle. I, okay, so you, 
let's assume you have an extra unit because you didn't pick the pirate gun and then yeah. you you can actually actually play this map <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. yeah the 33 kills with the pirate guns <laughs> i mean don't even have a good line of sight but yeah i mean i think can you use the ridge as cover against pirate guns i think you potentially can right possibly yeah I don't know. Probably. Yeah, so even another reason, but yeah, like Saber Cav, 127 kills, just crazy. So I think like in in regular quick battles when you can spam red bears, you know, um, of course red bears are the best unit, but um, black tortoise in tournaments where like red bears are limited to uh, number of four. Four. Yeah. Yeah, it they're actually like very very strong. Very, very cost in, effective. In ranked, you just take like 19 red bears. There's your own. <laughs> <laughs> four, four revolver cabin, all red bears. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah basically. <laughs> was the worst I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Full command general. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so you can't even route them. No, you can't route them. Or anything. Yeah. Uh, player I played against, he just banished charged them all in, like a huge blob of red bears. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make a dent in that, that blob. <laughs> yeah, like, I wouldn't even know, like, if I faced, like, 19 red bears, I would have to, like, pick a 150 or something and just chop off, like, parts of his army at a time or something. Yeah. I don't I know, and continue fighting. Think... Yeah, I think like full red bears is easier to face than uh, than uh, full red bears with a bunch of revolver cav. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. But I, I think. Yeah. You could only win that. You like that army is still. You couldn't. There's no way you beat it like head on or something. That red bear plus revolver. So you have to like kite or something. Because otherwise yeah. you can't just outlast it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I I still don't know how to do it. I mean, I think uh, I think you need like if you're up against four revolver cav, you need some hidden cav, and at least two revolver cav, I would say. And uh, yeah, and maybe some melee to hold off the red bears. But I don't know. You're probably just best off, better off just uh, playing red <laughs> bears as well. <laughs> then yeah, whoever yeah. micros their lines better wins. Yeah. Ah, no, it's just I think it's the the kite style could do it, but you can't use it everywhere. Like, imagine finding the red bear stack on like Papa Ridge or something. How the hell is that gonna work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't know. Like, kiting is kite. is pretty hard. It's okay. Pretty difficult to kite when your opponent moves in with all their army. Yeah, but if he moves in with all their his army, then at some point you're gonna be in the forest, and he's gonna be attacking you from the open, right? So yeah, yeah, you, I guess on some maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's like some open, fully open map, like few forests, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can be in the forest, but at that point you're not kiting, you're camping. <laughs> so it's not the well, kiting that does it. Yeah, no, but but the kind thing pulls them into your camping, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to conceal your real yeah. goal, you just call it kiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. let's take an engagement where it's favorable for you, of course. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to be in that forest with your units at the start. You just move back there with your units. So. Yeah. <laughs> see how see how the sentence is different. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think it's it's that the mass red bear revolver cab stack is beatable, but it's not easy. <laughs> no, definitely not. I think yeah. I think if if you manage to get the red bears somehow, like threaten them a little bit, then he might be pressured to go on with his revolver cab. But I I think if I think you just need a lot of hidden cav and just try to kite him into an area where you can attack him from weird angles maybe 
if you're gonna kite. But, yeah, I would probably just full lines is better. <laughs> full lines and some revolver cap and some cap, but it, yeah, oh, yeah. But that's basically the same. Yeah. So like, if you don't not gonna go for the same build, then yeah, I, it just you just have to be a genius on the battlefield because <laughs> you're not beating them with <laughs> your build. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, great casting of the samurai. Game. That was ages. Really, really nice. Um, cast it again. Still, my favorite total war game in uh, multiplayer, but did get a bit rough around the edges in terms of you know like technical depth. It's like um, controls aren't optimal there's some ui ux stuff that's missing from this game compared to the newest ones also some bugs and stuff but i would totally love a remastered shogun 2 yeah. quite nice to have but fixed all of this stuff then it should be amazing it's already amazing could get even more amazing all right well uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> Kurt Tank told you earlier, uh, face the music. Yeah. <laughs> face the music. That's probably. Yeah, because yeah, Merzik but... used to be a guy in CW player. I don't know if he still plays, like, probably not, because that was way back in 2012, 2013. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Are there any CW members still?